Hey everybody, thought it was time to do another cooking segment and uh, what we're going to do here is nothing special. It's a have yourself some chopped up potatoes or you can buy them pre-chopped like I have. Get yourself a onion soup mix. It could be any kind. A uh, normal one is usually a Limpton and you need some little bit of oil, cooking oil baking pan and basically what you do is you put your potatoes in here oil and the onion mix mix it all together and pop it in the oven I'm gonna be popping in the oven at uh, 350 and I'll just check it every 10 minutes and stir it around uh, the other thing I'm gonna add into this is some uh, Schweigert's uh, summer sausage I've already been nibbling at the ends. So I figure I better do the video before I end up eating the whole sausage before making the meal. So yeah, I'm going to cube the summer sausage into here as well. So um, I'm going to go ahead and prep this up and show you what it looks like before it goes into the oven. Be back in a little bit. Alright, so I got the summer sausage cubed up into the potatoes and now I'm going to add the oil and onion mix. So, we will crack open my brand new bottle of oil here. And I'm just going to kind of drizzle it on here. No measuring. That looks good enough for me. Keep it nearby in case I need more. Now I'm going to open up the onion mix. Ooh, you can really smell that onion. It smells good. Looks like the mix in here needs to be kind of broken up a little bit. Alright, so we'll just stir that in there. Now I think I'm just going to use one pack of onion mix depending on how strong you want. You could use one or two but I think one pack is going to do it just fine with this. Now we got all that out we'll just go ahead and stir it up. Not really the only thing that you're cooking here is going to be the potatoes because the summer sausage is already cooked. And we're going to cut here. And we're back. So, anyways, um, like I was saying, the potatoes are the only thing you're really going to be cooking here. But they shouldn't take that long. And um, I forgot to preheat my oven. So I got that preheated. And now I'm just going to stir the ingredients until I feel that they are stirred enough. I will add just a little bit more oil. I don't want it sticking to the pan. Well, now we know it won't stick. That's for sure. Just have a little bit get away from me there. Oops. That one didn't get away. Alright, so this is going to bake um, in the oven 
350, like I said, and then I will uh, stir it every 10 minutes until I feel it is ready to consume. So we'll be back in a little bit. So here is the end product, folks. After uh, baking probably roughly 35, 40 minutes, uh, I was busy at the computer doing something. But anyways, um, it's got a semi-brown color to it. The potatoes are, are soft, and I can I've already tasted a little bit of it, and I can taste the onion. But if you want a stronger, uh, if you want like a stronger uh, sense of that onion, you might want to use two packets. So I'm going to go ahead and dish this up and show the one final addition to this meal. So the one thing I'm going to add, so one thing I'm going to add to this is uh, a little bit of black pepper. Well, a little bit for me is generally an understatement. So some black pepper. And um, this is only something that uh, really my grandfather and I do. I, mean, I picked it up from my grandfather. And it's a little additive. It is Carol Dark Corn Syrup. Uh, that's right, folks. I am going to put Carol Dark Corn Syrup on top of my potato mix soon as I open it up. Carol syrup and just drizzle that on a little bit a little bit more. Oh, a little glog came down there. Oh we'll put a little bit more on there. I'm not I'm not bashful. So there you go. That's the final touch. Of course, you can do a final touch in any other fashion. You could put some hot sauce on there, Tabasco sauce, um, you know, anything else. I've seen some crazy things that people put in their food, but if they like it, you throw it in there. So there you go, folks. Another little uh, cooking episode for you.